Okay, so I'm gonna give you an overview really quickly. I am working as the marketing expert who is promoting a new line of sports clothing for our high school booster club. I'm trying to promote our marketing plan. So here. first part of our plan is the analysis section. The mission of the booster club is to provide additional resources for extracurricular activities at the high school beyond the money provided through allocations from the school system. The Booster Club also tries to promote positive support from parents and fans of all of our students and their activities beyond the classroom. Without the Booster Club, many extracurricular activities would suffer. Sports teams, the band, the academic teams all count on the financial resources the Booster Club provides. The Booster Club's target market for a new line of sports clothing is not only the students, but the parents, the fans, and alumni of SJHS. The strengths of our new line are the availability of the items on an online website from a third-party provider. Also, another strength is no overhead in buying mass amounts of clothing for an inventory that may not sell and thus cut into profits. The weakness of the new line is less profit per item than the sales directly at the concession stand and also less chance to get the impulse buyer attending a game to buy an item at the concession stand. The online format will open up an additional target market which is alumni a living away from the school's immediate area. The Booster Club could face competition from local in-person retail stores and other groups which offer items on site. There are also other online sites which could impact sales with direct competition. For the strategy section of our marketing plan, the product description is the name brand merchandise that will be included with the school's logo of the interlocking SJ. Items will include t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, face masks, leggings, shorts, and tumblers. For the distribution plan, all of the items will be offered through an online website. The Booster Club will have to produce flyers and posters with the website address and QR codes to allow easy access for fans at the games to find the website. They will also promote the merchandise website on both the school's website and social media. The company we are partnering with will handle all shipping to customers. As far as the pricing plan, the price for each item is set by the partner site. The Booster Club receives $4 per item sold when we start. It will reach different thresholds of sales and when we do that, the amount per item that the Booster Club receives will increase. In terms of the promotion plan, the Booster Club will produce posters that will be placed at all athletic sites and in and around the main entrance to the school. The site will also be promoted on multiple social media sites connected to the school and on the school's website. Flyers with the school merchandise website will be distributed to each athlete at the beginning of their respective seasons. In terms of the financial planning, the website will allow customers to directly pay for the merchandise through credit cards or whatever means are on the website. In terms of risk for the Booster Club, it's minimal. The main uh, risk for them in terms of cost will be flyers and posters. In terms of the risk and strategies, the risks are fairly minimal. Obviously, not having items at the game could cause a loss of sale, but not having the cost of maintaining an inventory and the cost of shipping to alumni will far outweigh the number of lost sales. The ease with which students, fans, and alumni can order, pay, and get their items delivered to their homes is a big positive in terms of improving sales. For the implementation section, the website will be up and running for the beginning of practices for the fall sports season. All posters and flyers will be produced and placed by the marketing team before the first fall contest. 
The marketing team will run promotion in conjunction with the Booster Club's governing board. The website items and promotions will be reevaluated after each sports season. New items will be added and lower selling items will be removed, all with the approval of the Booster Club's governing body. Finally, a financial analysis and a customer survey will be used to evaluate the website and the merchandise available. In conclusion, we are excited to run the Booster Club's campaign and to provide even more profit to the club with less risk. This move to a new online site is something different and adventurous, but it will pay off in profits and a reduced risk for the club of maintaining huge inventories which do not often sell. Thank you for your time and we hope to be your marketing team.